Welcome Fight Fans to my channel, this is Johnny, and today we're going to be going over the statistics that nobody talks about when mentioning a possible light heavyweight title fight between Dimitri Bivol and David Benavides. Guys, sometimes in boxing, as fans, we don't always get what we want, and we know that to always be true. The fights we want to see sometimes never get signed, and when they do, sometimes people get hurt. That is the nature of the game. Fights fall through, fighters get injured, and we're left here wondering. So today I wanted to do a video about the current status of Dimitri Bivol and David Benavidez. We already know they both have fights booked, but last weekend at Tyson Fury versus Alexander Usyk, His Excellency Turkey Alashik mentioned that he would be open and wants to do more undisputed title fights in each weight division, and he specifically name dropped one day in the future a fight at light heavyweight between David Benavidez and Dimitri Bivol. We know Bivol was supposed to take on Artur Better Beev for all of the belts and undisputed title on June 1st, but only a few weeks back. Better Beeb had a pullout, he had to have knee surgery, and he's on the mend. That fight allegedly is still supposed to take place, but months down the road, we know how long it takes the body to heal. In steps Malik Zanad. Zanad will be taking on Bivol June 1st. The fight date is the same. It is for Bivol's IBO and WBA belts at light heavyweight. We also know on the undercard, June 15th of the Frank Martin vs. Javante Davis fight, we have the light heavyweight debut of David Benavidez, who's taken on Alexander Vosik for the interim light heavyweight strap. Now this will be David Benavidez's maiden voyage to light heavyweight. He's gone back and forth about saying he wants to stay at light heavyweight, become undisputed there, and then go back down to 68. So today we're gonna do a video. If both fighters handle their business, we're gonna compare and contrast both guys' resumes, what they've been up to, who they've beaten, and find some advantages and disadvantages between Dimitri Bivol and David Benavidez. Now let's take a closer look at David Benavidez. David Benavidez is 28-0 with 24 knockouts. He has an 86% career knockout to win ratio. He's currently ranked number two in the world in the super middleweight division. The 27-year-old is an American Orthodox fighter standing at six foot two with a 74 inch reach. He goes by a few different nicknames, the Mexican Monster and Bandera Roja, the red flag. He's taken on Alexander Vosdick in his first light heavyweight fight, June 15th on the undercard of Davis vs. Martin. This will be for the WBC interim world light heavyweight title. He then took on Bubu Andrade, who was 32-0, knocked him out in the sixth. Caleb Plant was 22-1, you beat him in the 12th. David Lemieux was 43-4, knockout in the third. Kyron Davis was 16-2, knockout in the seventh. Ronald Ellis was 18-1, knockout in the 11th. David Benavidez is a big guy for 168. We know he's tough, we know he's gritty, his hand speed, his size, he cuts a lot of weight to get to 68. We know he wants to knock you out. Look at that 86% career knockout to win ratio. What we don't know about Benavidez is how is he gonna look at light heavyweight? Weight classes are for a reason. We know it's not an extraordinary jump, but power matters on a scale. So I'm really excited to see this Vosdick fight because don't sleep on Vazic. Vazic is an athlete, he's a fighter, he's not an easy out. This guy knows how to win and he is gritty, he could take one. So I'm really interested in seeing, can Benavidez power carry from 68 to light heavyweight? Now let's take a closer look at Dimitri Bivol. Dimitri Bivol is 22 and 0 with 11 knockouts. He has a career 50% knockout to win ratio. He's currently ranked number one in the world in the light heavyweight division. The Russian is an orthodox fighter standing at six feet tall with a 72 inch reach. The 33 year old is currently the IBO and WBA world light heavyweight champion. He's taken on Malik Zinad next week, June 1st. Zinad is 22 and 0. He is a fill-in replacement for the late scratch of Arthur Better Beeb. He then took on Lyndon Arthur, who's 23 and 1, UD in the 12th. Gilberto Ramirez, 44 and 0, UD in the 12th. Canelo, 57-1, UD in the 12th. Umar Salamov, 26-1, UD in the 12th. Guys, we love power, we love knockouts. One thing we cannot do, this is for the casuals and people who might not have seen a lot of b-ball before, is judge him on his record or how he goes about things. Sometimes when you see a guy who wins unanimous decisions, you would instantly jump to a conclusion that he doesn't have power. 
Watch B-Ball fight. He's not the biggest light heavyweight in the world, but he's an amazing boxer. His footwork is technical. He's smart, high fight IQ, doesn't take a lot of risks, and he pours it on you. He will pressure you until you sink, and a lot of times that's where he'll get you out of there. His last few fights, he's won by decision. Early on in his career, he was knocking guys out. This happens all the time in boxing though. As you climb the ranks and the competition gets more stiff and more stiff, it's tough to knock guys out all the time. But all the experts maintain that Dimitri Bivol is one of the most technical boxers on earth. When we look at these two fighters compared side by side, David Benavidez will be the guy who has lesser experience in the light heavyweight division. But he'll be the younger guy, he'll be the naturally bigger guy, which sounds crazy, because he's never fought at the bigger division, but he cuts a lot of weight to make super middleweight. And he'll also have the reach advantage. Styles make fights. I can't honestly say that I don't know if I've ever seen David Benavidez with as classy as a boxer as Bivol. The Caleb Plant fight showed a lot about Benavidez. He couldn't get Plant out of there, but Plant is as tough as it gets. He's a great fighter. When you wanna pick a winner, if this fight ever goes down, Bivol versus Benavidez, I think the advantages will definitely lie in the comfortability Bivol has in the division. Also how he goes about his business. He doesn't waste shots, he doesn't waste punches. He computes the data and then he pours it on. Benavidez goes about things a bit differently. He wants to take shots, he wants to give, he wants to take, he wants to stay in the pocket. So it's gonna come down to will Benavidez have the footwork, the skills, and the generalship of the ring to put Bivol in spots and positions to keep him there to exchange and land those big shots. Only time will tell. We have to see Dimitri handle business against Anand. We have to see Benavidez handle business against Vazdik. In a perfect world, if I were the matchmaker, I would make this fight. If this fight does ever take place at light heavyweight, who you taking? Bivol or Benavidez? Let me know in the comment section below.